And I'm back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We just concluded April May's testimony, which was a load of bunk. And now we're going to call the bellboy of Gatewater Hotel. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. It's going to be so hard making him different from Edgeworth. Maybe more just fanciful and happy, I guess. I am the head bellboy of the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from my guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot. I brought it to her precisely at the time requested, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest herself. I see. The defense make... I, I keep forgetting when they change people. Uh, right, I'm ready, I hope. If I can't prove Miss May involved, Maya will be finished. You're sure it was Miss April May herself? Oh, absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, as so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism. How come you're so very certain? Well, uh, when I brought room service, she favored me with an embarrasser, sir. Is that friends for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, more of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was that moment I'll never ever forget. Get back to this. Precisely 9? Precisely, exactly. As in most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss Mave is quite insistent be brought then. Oh, bellboy, I'd like the coffee at exactly 9. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular? It's no good. It's nothing. <sighs> Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, would you rather end this stupid and tedious cross-examination? It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen, can I? Wait! Please! Does the defense have something else to add? One last question! Let me ask one last question! Objection. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. No, no. Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, and that's all. This is it. What do I ask him? Tell me again. Again? Well, at exactly nine, I delivered room service to Miss May. The guest had requested iced coffee. 
Eighteen dollars charge. Wait. Eighteen? Doesn't that seem expensive? Well, yes. Ice coffee for two, you know. And we don't skimp on ice. Wait. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy! Tell the truth. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object! That was... Objectionable! Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, quite. Indeed. It was the good barista there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it was specifically asked, sir. <laughs> you fool! Uh-oh. I've done it. I won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when did you bring room service? You didn't see the man in the room? That's right, sir. Your Honor! We've just learned that another person involved may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? The man who checked in with Miss May. Ugh. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi for the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man who was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. What a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late, huh? I suppose you'd like that if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who had the presence of this other man from the court. Oof! Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all for today for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. <laughs> we survived a day of trial. Mr. Wright, you're amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Well, I was just doing my job, you know. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. That face of his, his eyes wide and trembling, sent shivers down my spine. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well... Uh, not yet. No. I see. But I got a great lead. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened with Miss May after that, anyway? Heard they arrested her. Guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center, so I'm gonna have to go down there. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about that man. Do you think he was the one who did it? Maybe so. Sis? Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you! I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. It might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was lying. In fact, there was only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. 
I don't know much how much good that'll do to me now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in there, and it's time for me to set her free. All right, back to investigation. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hello. Didn't expect anyone to visit me such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you, stupid lawyer. I hope you die! Have you come to laugh at me? Laugh at the fallen Miss May? N no is something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? <sighs> You're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, huh? How did you know to get so totally whacked out? About the man who stayed with you. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Maybe... Why did you place a wiretap on her phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime? Oh, and I suppose you learned that in liar school. I imagine he did. Creep. This woman's impossible. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, you bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell. Do you have a thing against lawyers, or is it just me? <sighs> okay, what happened to the big fucking... Huh. Um, well, wait a minute, wasn't there a giant painting on the wall? Wasn't it? Wasn't very memorable. Old photos. Something's written here. DL6. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Huh. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. I guess I'll borrow this. I'm sure no one will miss one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. Yoink. Oh. Oh dear. I think I'll swap them. Hi, everybody! I'm the new host of The Price is Wrong, bitch! That's what he looks like. Bleh. <laughs> okay. Not sure what self-respecting person would wear a pink suit and have purple hair, but I don't know. Welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where there's a murder and a wiretap. We could charge a premium for this room. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, wait. 
She hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer ice coffee! Why do I feel we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. About Miss May. Oh! Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it. Ugh. I wanted to ask you about the man with Miss Fay. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I were of the same ilk. We both carried the scent of... Danger. Well, we're in total agreement, Mr. Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! On that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as Gatewater. I propose we add a subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what did you think? Uh, sounds great, buddy. <laughs> Look at this photo. Ah, that's him. I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing it was him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I shall be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up. Not even Miss May can play dumb. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? The only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. So it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Honestly, dude? I don't think you could pull it off. The spiky head suits you. Have a look at this. I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where, where did you... Aha. This is him, isn't it? Where? Who? What? When? Why? How? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room that night. No. No, it's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have any proof that was him? Huh? Yeah, proof? Show me proof! Could you have a look at this? What's this? Bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man who checked in. Who was most definitely this guy. Oop! Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm headbanging to the music a little bit. This is it. All or nothing. No use playing dumb. Indeed, that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been a witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have had a field day with his reputation. Ugh. Fine, fine. You win. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <coughs> no, 
tell me about this man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the Info Gathering Company, Blue Corp. Red White? Information Gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. So that's the man who was with you the night of the murder? I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Miss White, Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White. Finally! A lead on this guy! If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action! Yeah! Alright, sweet. Blue Corp! We have a lead! And that will do it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.